Welcome, guitar players. We're taking it down a notch today. We're going not super heavy. That's why I carved a hole into this guitar. And sometimes, you know, sometimes all the volume isn't cool. So you want to take it down a bit. But then you're like, ah, it's not enough. Let's take it up a bit. And then you're like, ah, it's too loud. The neighbors, let's take it down a bit. And you go back and forth between loud and soft and loud and soft. Well, Vibroch Effects has something that can help you with that. So we're looking at a tremolo, which does loud and soft and loud and soft. So let's check it out. It's uh, right there. It's called the Optotrem from Vibroch Effects. And uh, the thing that you should know, and I'm going to say this in every Vibroch Effects um, video, is uh, his first name is Henning, and that doesn't happen a lot. So we're already best friends. We don't know each other, but we are. Uh, sadly, it's tough to actually see the color of this because it uh, reflects from above. It is a little bit more green than you see here. So the pedal side, yeah, it's a dark camera, but we have more. We have a camera from the back. Let's look at it there. Similar, and we have a camera from another over across the room. That's actually probably, yeah, there you go. That's the actual color. Um, this pedal has the Mac Trab, or whatever that is called, little sign. And this switch, actually is not physically connected to the PCB. There's no click at all. And inside, uh, there's actually a magnet on the switch, which gets brought close to some thing that floats in the air. And when it gets close to that electronic-y thing that I don't know what it is, uh, it turns the pedal on and off. So there's literally no physical connection, which means tough to break. Because there's no physical connection. And also, super soft. It's not the clack, 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 clack. It's, it doesn't do clack, 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 clack. So my setup is I'm going into the Tone King Sky King, which has a little bit of reverb on it, with this mind-blowing PJD Carry Elite. This puppy clocks in at 2,500 euro, which is ridiculous. Amazing top. It's a semi-hollow with bare knuckles. Swamp ash body. Look at those cavity covers. It's got a roasted maple neck. It's pretty much like a uh, like a thin line telly, but in single cut. So by itself, it sounds like so. On the pedal, we have volume to help it get a little bit more volume up if the volume's too down. Speed, intensity, and then a hard and a soft setting, which I really like. And you can see the speed on the little LED up there. So we're gonna just go up here and see what happens. It's rather drastic trem, which I like. Of course, you can set that down.
And um, Henning chose the other Henning, not not this one, uh, which I do like. Chose to go all the way to no volume. Some trams are going up and down, but they don't actually take the volume all the way down to zero. They just kind of sit on your signal, so you still hear the guitar, and then the volume changes a bit. But here we we literally go all the way to zero, which is why it sounds more drastic. <laughs> Actually really beautiful. I love it. effect but this actually could be usable especially if you go with a little bit of gain like in an, uh, in the Morgan AC20 Now, of course, there's a hard setting, which will give us a stutter. Oh, you have to... You could... I'm, I'm doing treble right here. I love that stutter, but of course, without a uh, MIDI clock, it is almost impossible to use that in a musical setting because um, you can't set the tempo to go hand in hand with your sequence or with your DAW. And in a live situation, the drummer would have to put himself on top of your tempo, which you can't tap. And even if you can tap it, it's not precise because you're not tapping the down of the waveform, you're tapping the speed, which I've talked about this at length. So it's an amazing effect, but actually putting that in a musical context and keeping it rhythmically aligned with the music, you show me how that's done, because I don't know. <laughs> That's really what it should be all about. Uh, of course, if you put a delay behind it,
I've never had this much fun with the tremolo. It's just... Gesundheit, Leslie! Um, make this big. I'm, I'm done here. What else can I say? I'm having fun. I would love to play this uh, quite a bit longer. Um, yes, I'm getting paid for this video all year, blah, 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 blah. But I mean, that's my job. This is fun. Because what I just did, I can't do just because I get paid. What I do is because I'm, I'm reacting to what's in front of me. And what's in front of me is a good trem. Is this in a cheap trem? No, it's not. But... Something about it just makes you feel as if it fits into any kind of mix and uh, the speed doesn't really matter too much. It doesn't have to be synced unless, of course, you're on the hard setting. This is good. If you're looking for a trim, this is good. What else can I say? This is also good. But this is good. Links below and some animals at the end. <laughs> 